We're reacting right now to AT's youth, the thing we all wish we still had. Yo. So far, I've liked the sets a lot. They've had very different sets. The song has been uh, fairly mm, non-detailed. We know that there's something that's happened. There's like the scene with the broken car and the, the windows are all shattered out. But we know that he's going through something. He's not enjoying whatever he's going through. The biggest commentary I have right now is that I'm starting to like the, the diversity of music from AT's. Yeah, where yeah. the first two songs when we I think about to the, were not diverse at all. Right, when I think about those songs that we listened to, very different from this one. Mm -hmm. But then last week's song was very different from the first two. This one's very different from either of the two types before. So I'm starting to see their musical variety, and I do enjoy that. Yeah, one of the things I like is I actually I, I like this jam. I like this vibe that this song has. It's something like you could you could turn on and just vibe to, you know? Yeah, especially when you're kind of relating with the lyrics a little bit. Now, one of the challenges that I'm having is we are trying to look at the whole picture here and read the lyrics as well because it's not in English. That, yeah. But we see the subtitles down there. So kind of trying to soak it all in at the same time is a little bit challenging, not going to lie. But kind of the feel that I'm getting is that, you know, it it's kind of the opposite of that fun whimsy that you have as a kid. And it's more like... Now there's some hard things, you know, and I'm kind of old, you know, lost all my hair. It's gone. So, you know, old. And the thing is, there are challenges that we face in life. And whether it's pain or whether it's, you know, losing somebody or whether it's just like not having the same thing that we had before. You know, you like move away from somewhere, you move back, it's different. It's just like the childhood, the whimsy, the fun. It's just different. It's gone. It's life changes. And that's the mm -hmm. nature of life is it just always changing, right? And so there is a sense of mourning, a sense of like nostalgia, you know, that goes with that. And the word nostalgia comes from the word like pain, like the algae in that is the same as like fibromyalgia. You know, it's the pain of looking back, you know. Anyway, I know I'm rambling here, but I'm, I'm digging the vibe here. And yeah. I'm, I'm kind of relating because – I'm old. Listening to the song and then your commentary on it makes me think that you could take the word youth and what they're singing about in two different ways. It could be the loss of youth, like metaphorically something hard happens and a part of your youth goes away. You're forced to mature in those moments. Number two could be maybe someone young died and that's what they're singing about. I don't know, but the song could be either way with what I've heard so far. Interesting. And and when you if it is the second one, it almost pushes you into the first one mm -hmm. by default. Mm -hmm. Crazy. I don't care, I don't care, no. But then when they're so put up a sense and in their mommy, not ever go to know what you do down coy so tongue that would more like body got or in the Okay, I'm gonna step back and like this whole rap sequence, I lost attention to the lyrics, so I wanna go back and listen to the lyrics again okay. and then we'll comment on that after. But I loved what they did in the set, making it very cold in that room. Did you notice oh, that? Oh, yes, yeah. He was, his really breath was freezing as it was coming out. Mm -hmm. It was blue, cold light, yeah. but the breath, you could see his breath. Mm -hmm. So you knew it was cold. That that You don't feel warm when you're going through something hard like that. And the, the little detail of making the room cold enough that you could see his breath really paints that feeling well. Right. I thought that was a beautiful detail. Especially in contrast to right before it, where we are right now. Yes. <laughs> I don't care, I don't care, no. But then when they're all they saw, 
복잡한 세상이 아닌 내 마음이 나를 물고서 놓아주질 않고 있어 정답을 몰라 머리가 아파 어른은 청춘이란 그한 단어에 슬픔을 기쁨이라 말하고 지금을 즐기라고 더 듣기 힘들 말만 나고 있어 그대는 그때를 즐기셨나요 아픔보다 행복이 더 컸나요 참조차도 자기 힘든데 yeah. 현실의 꿈을 실현하기에 yeah, yeah. 난 너무 어려워 지금은 어려워 Say no 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 Okay, so I think it's I think it's I'm getting a little mixed feelings here, especially with what you said about like, is it about the youth and I'm talking about being old and here's the thing. Everybody tends to look back at something, not everybody, right? Like obviously some people look back and they're like, that was terrible, I never want that again. Yeah. But we often like will look back and think like, oh, there was something good about that time, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, even if we're kind of still growing up, you know? And when he's in that room, the cold room with the black faces all around, the feeling that I got from that, like the the message that was like all the, the responsibilities and weight of of life and, and the, the demands. That's the word I'm looking for. The demands of life. Just like shouting at you with just these these blank faces. You know, it's not human. It's just like this weight that, that pulls you and pushes you in all these different directions. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? And this uncertainty of growing up and thinking like, okay, I got to do a thing. I'm supposed to be happy because the grownups tell me I'm supposed to be happy. But I'm confused and challenged. And the thing is, that doesn't really go away. Like you grow up and you're like, ah, to be young again. And like kids are like, what's so special about this? You know, and you still don't really know what you're doing. You're like, it's just different challenges, different, different blank faces demanding your time, demanding your attention, your energy and pulling you in all these different directions. But it doesn't necessarily mean you're like, oh, dude, I've got this and I'm so happy. Or like, or the contrast, or I, I wish that I was just young and things were perfect. Like life is life the whole way through. Mm -hmm. And there is, like it says, like there is good things and bad things and can the good outweigh the bad? And like, are we just confused? Like, I don't, it reminds me of, of the killer song. Like, are we human? Mm. You know, it's yeah. like li life is complex. And, and this, this like, this sits on top of that. It, this sits with that complexity. This song does. It sits with that complexity for me. And it, it's just kind of like, look, we're all we're all there like you can look back at me and say like oh to be young again it's like i'm the same place you are just different yeah it's it's funny looking uh part of what speaks to the fact that this is a very complex song is there are so many different interpretations you can take from it one interpretation that i took of those dark fit mask faces like yelling down at him i took that as like bullying and then you'll hear from adults like say in your high school years you'll have people around you. Kids can be real quite mean in high school. They're still, like, developing all of their interacting skills. Kids um, are Satan. Maybe not that far. But they can be mean. Uh, and while you're getting bullied and you're having hard times in high school, like, high school isn't easy, you have the adult saying, don't waste your youth, not understanding that they're not telling you to enjoy everything. They're telling you, hey, make the best of the fact that your physical body is working the best it ever will. You're gonna turn out like me one day, kid. Don't waste it. Right? So, it's it's like, how am I supposed to enjoy this? Everything's really hard. And, well, yeah, it, it is hard. And it is confusing when you hear this message of like, don't waste your youth. Okay? Don't waste it. Don't waste it. And I, I, I get it. It's, I get it on that message. But there's so many messages in this song. It's, I, I, I'm really digging the complexity, like you mentioned. I've got this playlist that's, it's, I call it like my heavy feel playlist. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put this one on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, before it before it gets we into all felt that right. Verse. We all we all we all that hurt our soul when <laughs> the, the guitar smashed the, the guitar over there. Car. Uh, it's funny looking at this, and especially the imagery of the broken car. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my senior year in high school, I had a very close friend pass away. Uh, m- one of my ballroom partners actually passed away, and the the f- seeing the broken car and hearing him saying on this night where even the moon cries really spoke to me there, reminded me of that time, how the whole ballroom team really kind of came together and mourned together, where it felt like everything w- was down. You know, there are a lot of times when something happens in your life that gets you down really bad, but it feels like life just goes on around you regardless of what's happening. Mm-hmm. This wasn't a time like that. This is like what they're de- this is like what they're describing where even the moon is crying. Everyone was sad that this happy, upbeat young girl who I was close friends with has passed. And this this song reminds me of that time. I it, and it's a hard time to remember, but you get through it. And life does go on and even though youth can be this difficult, you can get past it. It, it it's just not easy. Okay, I feel like we have to talk about that dancing. No, that was incredible. I can't pause after, like, I want to watch that again. Yeah. The lyrics, w- there were just a few lyrics, but when he, he specifically starts with, like, because I'm feeling this way, I dance. And then went out in this beautiful dance solo yeah. that was so expressive. It was expressing the anger, the frustration, kind of the shaking your fist at God that happens when, that you feel when terrible things happen in your life. It, it was expressing the pain from the very start when right. he slid so, in. Like, and he has oh, some of that beautiful. pulling in motion, which is that, that mourning, right? And... That was beautiful. One of the things that really accentuated the dancing was the camera work, the camera and the editing work, where some of those big pops were either zoomed out or zoomed in at the same time, and it just gave it so much more depth. Like, you don't get to see that on a stage. That's something that you only really get to see in video because mm-hmm. of the way that they can just the accent and, and zoom in with that, right? That's, that's technology, right? And being able to combine those things together, I think they did really excellent there. Let's go watch that again, Alice. Oh, I love it. It's so chaotic. It's so frenetic. It's angry. It's pained. It's... It's everything you need to express those emotions through dance. It was beautiful the whole time. I mean, and it, it's not like, okay, I'm going to compare it to immediately after where the next three scenes, there's no motion. Mm-hmm. There's just forlorn staring. So it was expressing what is inside the frenetic, chaotic anger and sadness and mourning that you can't get past juxtaposed with what's happening outside that people can see. It, it's just stillness and mourning and sad and beautiful such beautiful camera work beautiful dancing i'm gonna let you go now but yeah that, I, 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 there are there are dances that just touch the soul dance i've said this before but dance is one of the most poignant expressive modes that we have to share emotion in a way that is just so different from words from music because I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, like, because of, like, just the, the maybe it's the mirror neurons, like, in our heads, mm-hmm. you know, where we, like, we, we just, like, see things and we're, like, oh, I, I get that. Or maybe m- mirror neurons aren't in our heads. I don't know, man. I'm not a, like, neurologist. All I'm saying is it's a wonderful, expressive tool. And there are a few dances that I've seen that have just struck me to my core. And I'm just, I can just feel it from the inside out. And that was one of them. And you notice in there, you said chaotic, you said frenetic. But if we look at it just technically or kind of more in like a, a rhythm standpoint, it's it included a lot of like smooth movements and then stops. Mm-hmm. So it was like it had a mix of that 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 yin and yang, right? That that smooth and 
hard, that soft and hard kind of combined and those feelings of just this like, uh, uh, you know, and it's just everything and stop and pull and push. And it just, it was so dynamic. It was so dynamic and emotional. And what it really did that you kind of mentioned but didn't really touch on exactly is that when you compare it to those other three scenes, not only do those three scenes show us a contrast between the two of like, this is the inside, this is the outside. This accents and augments those still scenes to make those so much more powerful mm -hmm. because you have this like explosion of expression here. And then you have this like stone wall, brick wall of emotion staring off. Like, it, you know what I mean? And, and, well, and you can see the tears in his eyes on this one right here. You can literally see the reflection of the tears in his eyes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like each one of these things is fantastic by themselves. Okay, there's a lot of expression just staring out. But when you couple that with the dance and then you put them like right back to back, boom, it's like such a stark contrast that each one of them becomes so much more noticeable. Mm -hmm. It's like when you put black and white right next to each other and you're just like, whoa, this isn't gray at all. Anyway, I'm... Did anyone recommend this, or did this just pop up? This is... This is uh, trending. This is trendy stuff. Trending, yeah, it yeah. should be. This is good. There's a, one of the things about the, the whole dance that made it feel chaotic and frenetic that I, I meant to touch on but didn't was it there were many of those stances that they hit were off, or that he hit, were off balance. Like, he's flipping out over here where his whole body's off on one side, mm -hmm. and the only way he manages to keep in the dance is by whipping back to the other side. Kind of like when you're like starting to fall and your whole body like pushes back. Whoa. That was like choreographed that to make sure that he was still standing up, still in the dance, but so close to the precipice of falling over, which was just such a good like physical depiction manifestation of that, that feeling. You're always on the precipice of emotional destruction, but you're managing to keep it up somehow. And there are going to be some angry outbursts, but you're handling it. It was, it was yeah. beautiful. There was so much in that dance. So, there was a part in here that just played that almost made me cry. It was right at the end of this last verse where he's singing. He's talking about, like, being alone, right? And he talks about, like, kind of being a little bit older. And the other guy starts singing the line with him. And when they both sang together, it wasn't just like, oh, that's pretty. They're two singing together, you know? It took this message of, I'm alone, I'm hurt, I'm confused. And then said so like, but you're not alone. Yeah. And and it, it reminds me so much of like my own life, you know, because there are times I felt that. I feel like alone, confused, hurt, you know, like for all the different reasons that we've talked about, right? And then I look around and I, I see people here in my life, you know, that support me and like are here. And I know that they've hurt and I know that they have pain and they have nostalgia and they have difficulties and and i am also here and like we're all here and when we kind of get out of our head a little bit and we can just hear that voice and say like i'm right here like we're all we're all in this little crazy chaotic sphere together you know it's not like everybody like we're all kumbaya the whole world or whatever but like if you have just even just one person to be like look i get it i'm a person too Dude, it just like it it changes everything. And and this song like expresses all that stuff in there. And then but the part that really got me was when they just they sang together. And man, like I'm just Oh. And this is 80s. Like like they're so like every song is so different. Mm -hmm. Like I think I'm a fan. I think I might be a fan. I think this is the song that really converted me to be a fan. I had been on the fence uh for the last few, but this one I think really got to me. Um 
I, that was the part, the part that you just hold, talked about was the part that got to me too. But I also liked what immediately came after. The same thing that you mentioned is exactly what I thought was, he says he's alone. And his buddy walks up and looks over to him and sings with him. And then look at the dancing and their faces throughout the rest of it. The lyrics and the music doesn't change. Uh, so if you're just listening to the song, you're not going to catch this. But in the music video, the entire body language of the dance and of their facial expression completely changes to one of, I'm, I'm surviving this. I'm getting through this. You're no longer just struggling. You're not fighting with your demons. They're screaming at you. You're not dancing this emotive, chaotic frenzy. It's almost, devil, it's almost devil may care. You know, it's almost, mm -hmm. it's almost uh, like... Like, 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 screw it all. We're going to just get through it. Almost. Yes. You know, like this, uh, this yes, like, that like standing there, that like shoulder move very much said that like, and, uh, uh, we're and, getting through this together. Screw the world. And I saw it in the cold room where he's, he's doing this kind of dancing like this, you know, and it's like, instead of this, like, ah, like closed in, it's just like, ah, forget about it. Like, I'm just like, we're just going to dance. We're just going to dance. Are we human or are we dancer? That's what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> yeah. but like, that's, I love that because the life didn't change. Knowing that everybody's kind of in this together and that you're not alone changed how they decided to move in it. This, this whole song has, like, I spoke about my dance partner who passed away in high school. I, uh, this whole song has had particular meaning to me because of that, where we're all together, we're all dancing together to get through this. Yeah. And that was ha what happened with the ballroom team. We all came together. We supported each other, but we literally were dancing together to get through it. And so this this really struck out to me. And then at the very end here, the I love them staring at this burning house, and it really makes this a long scene. It doesn't give it to you for a second and cut out. It wants you to think about this. And so while Remington was talking as I first paused, I thought about it for quite a bit. I love the metaphor. Something has happened. Something that has destroyed your life. It has burned your metaphorical house around you. And what can you do but look at the burning house and make sure that your support group is there to help you while it happens? Because with your support group, you can get through. But alone, it's going to be in incredibly difficult. It's beautiful. Whether your house is actually burned and that's something you need your support group to get through, or whether it's just a metaphorical house in your heart by some sort of heartbreak or tragedy, your support group is so important to get you through there. Dance through the pain together. And you can say, just screw you to the world for a little while to get through your pains. Beautiful. I, the entire music video was just gorgeous. The metaphors throughout the dance, throughout the visuals, throughout the words, that was phenomenal. The use of cold and heat, light and dark. Huh? Um, the whole like way through. Rough and smooth, like hard and soft, like... I, I, that was, that was an art. That was a piece of art. That one is a piece of art, not a song, not a music video art. Beautiful. See, we've, we've talked about how we like K-pop, uh, in the past in that it's very all encompassing. It's a, it's a whole art form. It's as opposed to like, we sing really well, or we write good music. This is good music with amazing visuals, with phenomenal dancing, with good singing and with, like the vi the music video emphasizing and deepening all the points. It's amazing what they've been doing here. If you guys know of other songs that are going to impact us like this one, like point them out to Please, us in the comments. Please, yes. This was amazing. Write those down, man. I want to watch them. And if you watched this far and you haven't subscribed yet, you're part of the problem. Just, <clears> just, just push the button. Just going to put it that just, way. Sorry, just I, be just, I shouldn't offend everybody. I'm sorry. It's just that <laughs> I watch this and I just think I want to like uh, roast marshmallows, but I know that's not appropriate. Um, anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. That's, Check out this video. And that's the burning fire version of when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> when life burns your house down, cook a marshmallow. Uh, Don't get your pictures. There's cook something wrong with us.